Seth's drunk. Paperboy for the NES is one of my favorite games ever, and really it has very little to do with the gameplay or the graphics or the music or anything like that. It's just a really funny game. Paperboy has never failed to make me laugh over the years, whether it's at the psychotic housewife chasing after you with a rolling pin, this crazy breakdancing guy, or the Grim Reaper himself sauntering out to try and stop you from delivering newspapers. I mean, come on, in what other game can you hit death himself in the nuts with a newspaper? So Paperboy 2 should be great, right? Well, uh, it isn't. The game is still pretty funny, so it's not a total loss, but it seems like they tried to do too much with the gameplay. This is one of those sequels where it's like, forget everything you know about the first game because Paperboy 2 is completely different. Instead of a straight street, you have this hexagon you have to manage, so you have to deliver papers on both sides of the street. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, but it's pretty tough to get used to throwing to just one side, let alone flipping the controls at a certain point so you can do it from the opposite perspective. I will say that really isn't that big of a deal once you get used to it. Thing is, there's ramps all over the place that send you flying into the air, whether you expect it or not. It's kind of a nice touch, but ultimately it just adds to the feeling that you're really not in control. The ramps usually feel like you hit them on accident sometimes. Even so, I would say the biggest problem with Paperboy 2 comes with an imbalance of speed. All the stuff that's out to kill you is really fast, like this out of control baby stroller, Jesus, or this runaway dog, or pretty much anything that tries to stop you. Everything comes at you so quickly that you barely have enough time to react. And that's right from the beginning. The difficulty gradient already starts from the top. The speed is also a problem with delivering papers because Apparently the kid on the bike is Clayton Kershaw or something. This dude just whips papers much faster than the NES game. And that was one understated, albeit kind of strange, aspect of Paperboy at NES. When you threw a paper, you could control its trajectory in a way because it matched the speed of your bike. So if you were a bit late on a throw, just slam on the brakes and the paper will still have a chance to hit its target. That doesn't really exist in this game, or at least this version of the game. Don't get me wrong, Paperboy 2 still has its moments. There's all sorts of weirdness here that's reminiscent of the first game. like these people people who don't take care of their yard, tires being fired at you, and you even get to thwart a robbery. Hey, you made the paper! You can also make the paper for breaking windows and saving babies, which is pretty funny. Oh, and you can also kill a guy. Seriously. Thankfully, you don't make the paper for that. Wait a minute, do people under 19 even know what a newspaper is anymore? When I say make the paper, do they even understand what I mean? Jesus, I'm old. Anyway, one other thing I have to point out is the music. There are so many great soundtracks on the Super Nintendo, just dozens and dozens of great pieces of music, and Paperboy 2 is not one of them. It might have the worst music of any game on the system. It is annoying, abrupt, nonsensical, and just weird, and not in a good way. I played most of this game on mute. The only soundtrack I can think of that's worse is Balls 3D. Don't get me started on that piece of crap. So yeah, I don't think Paperboy 2 on the Super Nintendo is worth playing today, it's just way too hard. I mean, you sit down and play this game, and before you know it, and when you're trying to enjoy everything, you're dead in less than 5 minutes. What fun is that? I hardly got to see anything. The first game on NES at least gradually gets harder while you get used to how the bike controls. Paperboy 2 just throws you out there. Good luck, buddy. Paperboy 2 got ports on all sorts of other systems like Genesis, Game Gear, Game Boy, and NES, and I really think this game plays a lot better on the NES. It's just more forgiving, a bit slowed down, and and not nearly as difficult. So yeah, if you're interested in Paperboy 2, check it out on NES instead of Super Nintendo.